welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a current favorites video. I love these videos. They're so fun to watch and I have not done one in a while so I figured I would hop on and just share some of the items that I have been loving. The products, there's some beauty, there's home, there's like tech stuff. There's just a bunch of random things that I have put together to share with you guys that hopefully maybe you would enjoy too. Just things that I have been really loving lately. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and I create lifestyle and teaching content and I would love for you to join our little family on here. So be sure to subscribe before you go and also if you like this kind of content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Everything that I talk about in this favorites video will be linked down in the description box so you can check them out there. I have a lot of items that I did get on Amazon so those will be also in my Amazon store. You can always visit that. I have a store that has a bunch of just different things that I love and I have different categories so it's just nice to be able to go on there and you can really just get any product that you want that I've ever honestly mentioned in my channel. I stick it on my Amazon store. But then the items that aren't Amazon, I will try my best to find the links for those. There are a few I know that you can't get on Amazon or it's just there's more options if you get it on a different website or whatever. So I will definitely try to link everything down in the description box. That way you can get your hands on some of these products. The first product that I'm going to talk about is a beauty product. I think it's the only beauty product I included in this video. However, it has been such an amazing one. It is a mascara. It's the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. And I have tried so many different mascaras. I've tried extensive mascaras, cheap mascaras, and everything in between. And I'm kind of picky when it comes to mascaras. I'm not going to lie. I like my lashes to look volumized and big. And I I'm not really good at putting on false lashes by any means. I've tried. I need to try probably more to get the hang of it. But nonetheless, it's just not my thing. And especially as a teacher, I'm not going to be putting false lashes on every day. But I do naturally have pretty long lashes. So I want a mascara that's going to be able to show them off. And I just... I don't know, I've had mascaras before that just kind of were like duds, they didn't do much. This one is not that. This is an amazing mascara. It's one that I just keep going back and getting more. Like you know it's good when you run out of it and you go to the store and you get the exact same one. The next item is a household item. If you have kids, if you have pets, you need this. We got some new bedding and we wanted to make sure that my dog Dixie or the cats really weren't destroying it. I figured there has to be something out there that can help protect it that isn't like an ugly plastic sheet. Like you know what I'm talking about? Like when you think of like I don't know the 70s or whatever when they would put plastic on their couch. Yeah I didn't want that. Um, So I went on Amazon and sure enough of course because Amazon has everything. I found a waterproof blanket. I got it in I think the throw size. We just put it right over top of the bed. It's the last thing that we put on our bed and I got a darker color just so it wouldn't show so much dirt but they have a bunch of different ones too. But what's nice about this is yes it's waterproof but it's also soft but I kid you not you put water on this like if you would pour some water on it it bubbles up it does not seep in so it's protecting everything underneath it like yeah you would want to wash this physical blanket if something happened but the bed is protected the next product is another household item and it has been such a nice way to wake up lately so I have a hard time waking up when it's still dark out. I just, I don't have a problem when it's sunny out. Like if it's a sunny day, I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to go. But in the morning before work, when it's pitch black out, it is just so darn hard sometimes to wake up. So I looked at Amazon and they have a bunch of different sun um, alarms. Now this is the Philips one. So the whole area around here, you can see it lights up and I'll include a clip of it actually working because I don't actually have it plugged in right now. But the whole thing lights up and when you want to wake up, it will start to slowly light up. Like I think 30 minutes before your alarm will go off. So it's supposed to act as the sun is rising, kind of that effect on your body. And it does help. Like there was definitely be times that I'm really tired and you know, I don't, I still don't want to get up, but for the most part, it lights up the whole room and it just helps you then wake up because you're not having to wake up in like pitch darkness. Now, if you don't want to pay for the Philips one, because I'm going to be honest, it wasn't like the cheapest alarm clock ever. They have on Amazon ones that aren't 
Philips brand that are off brand and they're much, much cheaper. And I heard that they do just as good of a job. So you could always just check those out too. So like I said, I'm a teacher and when I'm at school in those afternoon times, I get really tired like I start to get that afternoon kind of fogginess so I've invested in having a water kettle in my classroom and it has been a game changer to be able to boil water at my desk and make a hot tea in the afternoon it's been amazing and so I found this really awesome tea kettle on Amazon I have mentioned it in another video before so you might see it and think it looks familiar because I think I did show it in a teacher vlog or something like that um, but it's awesome and it lights up it's actually a cute like aesthetically pleasing tea kettle too but it just it also does the job it heats it so fast too you put the water in and you hit the button and a couple minutes maybe maybe even less than that and you have boiling water since we're talking about school I thought I would share with you my new lunchbox I got this from Walmart but I know that they have some on Amazon as well and what I love about this lunchbox why it's different than my other lunchboxes that I've had in the past is this entire thing fits in the freezer and what's nice about that is there are lining in here that is freezable so it's like one big ice pack basically and it just keeps everything really cool if you don't have access to a fridge at your school this is gonna keep everything nice and cool without having to stick like an ice pack in it. Also what I like is if I have a drink, like if you're putting Diet Coke in it and your Diet Coke is warm, if you stick this in in the morning, I go and grab my can of soda or it's usually honestly an energy drink, a monster. It's always cold then by the time I pick it up. Folds like that and then they also have a strap that just comes right here and now it is this tiny little thing and you can just stick this right in your freezer. Another kind of teachery item, but it's really just a lifestyle item honestly, it's for people who want to get their water intake in during the day and want to drink a lot of water. So I've seen these online for a little bit now and I finally got one. It's the Hydro Jug and I got it with a sleeve. So the sleeve has a little pocket here and it fits on your jugs. You can put this right on your shoulder and carry it into work or wherever you're going, the gym, whatever. Um, it has a top, like a shaker bottle and then I also got a straw. This was extra, but the straw is nice because it sits in here and then it can be pushed down so that you can still close the lid like that. And this is my entire water for the day. It's 73 ounces filled up to like the very top, like right here. It also has all of the measurements. So as you are drinking throughout the day, you can see how much you drank. And it just really helps me get in my water because I used to use my Hydro Flask, not Hydro Jug, Hydro Flask. So even though I knew I wanted to drink three to four Hydro Flasks, I just never would fill it. For me, I have to visually see the water. They do have a bunch of different colors. I chose just black and white because I didn't want to get a bright, beautiful color and then kind of get bored with it. I just wanted kind of like a neutral, simple look. That way I wouldn't get sick of it. However, if you're into the different bright, beautiful colors, they have tons of them. They also have different sleeves that are, have different patterns on them. So I recently accidentally washed my <laughs> wireless headphones. I did have a wire on them though. They were the kind that like went around, like they were two earbuds that were connected. When I washed them, they started to kind of not work as well as you can imagine. Surprisingly, they didn't completely die so that was a shocker but even so I decided that it was time to get a new set of headphones and I decided to try out airpods and I can actually say that I am pleasantly surprised that I do love them so what I love about airpods is that first of all there's no wire at all um, like my old ones and so you can just slip these right into your ear I a lot of the times only use one headphone. I don't like to run with two headphones. I don't think it's quite safe. What I also like is that the case that holds them actually charges them. So when you get AirPods, you'll see on your phone, it pops up. There's two different charging levels. And the first one is your case. And then the other one is how much charge is left in the actual AirPod. I ended up getting this little silicone case on Amazon just so that it's easy to clip and to hold so you don't lose them. The only thing I would say is one of my ears it hurts after a while and I don't know why like I don't know if I have to get used to it but this year's fine this year after I have it in for a long time it starts to kind of like get a little sore almost but I'm hoping 
that fades away fingers crossed we'll see but that's the only complaint I have other than that I love these so for some tech products I have some things for your computer to help you I don't know about you guys but when I'm on my laptop all the time which I am a lot of the time I get a lot of neck pain which then results in headaches and it's just something I've been struggling with for so long and I'm trying to figure out like how to solve it and what's causing it and one of the things I think is working on my laptop and looking down all the time and so I've seen these lifters of your computer to help you look straight first looking down so this is one that I got from Amazon and how it works is you just sit your computer right on top um, and then they even have like spots here that I think you can put your cords but your computer sits on top. I actually lift it up with a basket even more. And because it's so high, then you're going to need also a keyboard and a mouse. And so I have that too, and I will link these below, of course. But this is the keyboard that I've been using. Also, I have a little mouse that I've been loving too. All right, the last techie product is so random, but it really has been a favorite of mine. It is this HDMI three-way splitter, and I got it again from Amazon. I went to Walmart to find one. They didn't really have anything. So of course, then I was like, well, Amazon is gonna have it, and they did. And it's because we have a bunch of different HDMI things going into our TV, and we had to keep going behind the TV and switching them out, and it was so annoying. So we have Xbox, a Switch, um, like an Amazon stick or whatever, and I almost think there was there's maybe one more. But with this, you don't have to keep going behind your TV and switching. You plug this into your TV, and then right here has a button, and you plug all your HDMI things into here, and with the button, you just select and you go through one, two, three, and you select the one you want. It's a game changer. I love it so much. It makes it really easy to use different things in your TV. If you don't know this, I love reading so much. And so, of course, I have some book recommendations and book favorites to share with you guys. The first one I got out at the library, and it is a self-development book. I'm definitely going to say the author's name wrong, but it is by Jess Ekstrom. Ekstrom? It is called Chasing the Bright Side, and it's basically a book about being really optimistic and how that can change your life. Understand how your thoughts determine your future. Treat optimism like a muscle that needs to be trained. View challenges through lens of opportunity. Um, tell cynicism to take a back seat and overcome the myth that to be successful, you have to have it all figured out. So it's just kind of like a mindset book. I have not read the whole thing yet, but what I have read from it so far, I love and so I highly suggest you get this book out at your library or Amazon. I will link it below but it's a really good read so far. The next few books that I'm going to talk about is a series and you've heard me talk about this before if you've seen any of my vlogs but it is a fiction series, a fantasy fiction series and I don't have the first one. I think the first one's packed. So the first one is The Cruel Prince, then it is The Wicked King and then it is the queen of nothing. This is more of a simple fantasy. I think these are actually YA. I could be wrong, but I think they might be, they might be in the YA category. Um, but it's just, they're easy reads, but they're fun reads. There's romance in it too. And ugh, it's just so much like politics in this fantasy high fey world. I love it so much. I finished it, I wanna say like a couple weeks ago. And I've had a book hangover ever since. It's so good. You have to read these if you're into anything like that. Definitely recommend. My last current favorite is a faith-based one. And it is a devotional that you can get on your phone for free if you have the Bible app, which I believe is also free. So it's a free product. So if you are into reading devotionals at all or studying the Bible, I really suggest this one. It is called Unexpected. It is a devotional by Christine Kane. And just like the title, it's called Unexpected, but it's basically about how um, to handle things that happen in your life that are unexpected in a faith-based way. If you're the type of person that likes to plan out every little bit of their life, like me, and they have a hard time with dealing with things that maybe go off of your plan, or you worry too much about the future and not knowing a plan, this will really help give you comfort. It's kind of about trusting in God versus letting your fear affect you. And it's a 14 day plan. I love it so much. Everything that I've done from it so far has been really calming and comforting and helping. Um, it says through this 14 day reading plan, you will strengthen your faith in a good God and learn to live in the joyful freedom of complete trust in him, even in the face of unexpected circumstances. If you have not checked out the Bible app yet, if you like devotionals and studying the Bible, I totally 
definitely suggest it because there are so many plans on there and they're all for free. All right, guys, those are all my current favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, everything will be linked down below for you. That way you can check it out. I will also include my Amazon store down below as well. Be sure to subscribe before you go, like this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.